What's up guys? Welcome back to Coding Concepts. I'm just taking a little stroll in the woods behind my house. Looking for a place to set up and uh, make some coffee. And today I just wanted to show you my cook kit. Um, so let me get set up and I'll bring you back. All right, so we're gonna start with uh, talking about my brew kit here. This is an older Maxpedition uh, bottle holder. They make two different sizes, or at least they used to. Um, this is the smaller of the two. So it basically has two compartments, one uh, just for a water bottle, um, and it will hold a standard size Nalgene. And then there's an outer pocket here. What I got in there is uh, some coffee that I got from a guy from Kenya. I have a fire steel just in case uh, the igniter doesn't work on my stove. And then a titanium spork from Plant My Fire. And then my actual cook kit, I'll just go over each piece here and then I'll uh, come and show you how it works. I got this, um, and you'll see kind of why I, I got this. This is a Wood Knot Gear uh, koozie. What I have is a Tokes titanium 750 milliliter pot with a, a lid. Inside, I have my MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. That is my stove. I uh, have some hot lips just because the titanium does get pretty hot. I've got canister MSR fuel, uh, and then I have a jet boil um, pot stand. So I'll go ahead and uh, set it up here and I'll bring you back. All right, the stove's all set up now. I brought uh, one of my many ways to make coffee and I'll do a breakdown of this later. Um, but I got a Nalgene and a French press inside. Uh, today we're just gonna do the gear breakdown for just my stove set. So I'm gonna get some coffee in me and we'll talk about each piece. All right, I'll bring it back. Already boiling. That is one of the reasons why I love this setup. So it boils really fast. Um, one of the main reasons behind that is the actual stove itself. The MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe has a regulator in it, a micro regulator, which there's only a few. Um, I'll call them mid-price stoves on the market that have that regulator feature, one of which is the Soto Windmaster. And a regulator will outperform uh, a stove without a regulator simply based on the fact that it has a steady stream of gas coming out. This is a isobutane stove. Um, so if you like canister stoves, um, I highly suggest this one, mainly just based on that if you do any, like I said, cold weather or uh, camping at elevation and I do both and sometimes both at the same time so that was the main deciding factor for that for me the other reason that why I really like it is the ease of use there's no extra pieces the main difference between this and the Windmaster is the um, the pot base on the Windmaster the feet come off and so it's two different pieces I like that this is all just kind of one piece Whoa! <laughs> Washington for you I'm gonna have to go fix that uh, tie out. Hold on one sec. Okay, sorry about that. So uh, yeah, like I was saying, this whole kit is something that I put together to compete with another really popular system is the jet boil system. And this does a lot of the same stuff uh, in a smaller package that weighs less. So the other thing, I use the jet boil feet. Those weigh nothing, um, but it's really handy to give you some stability on the canister so because it gives you those three legs especially if you use the small canisters i typically will use the small canisters for two reasons one um, i'll show you in just a second i like how this all nests together and so the overall footprint uh, in my pack is a lot smaller than the jet boil um, the larger canisters will not fit inside so you have to store them somewhere else but that being said i have mostly used 
these small canisters and I've never ran out of fuel uh, as long as I'm under three days. If I go over three days, I take two of them and I'll just stick a second one somewhere else in the pack. The cup, like I said, is a Tokes 750 mil titanium cup. What is so awesome about this size is it's a large cup of coffee, uh, but it's enough to boil water for your morning coffee and your breakfast oatmeal, or if you want to do tea at night and a, a dehydrated meal, or if you just want you know, to do, I'll do a full Nalgene a cup. This is only about half, but I'll do a full Nalgene a coffee um, when I'm gonna go on a hike or something. And this will do enough water for, you know, a big serving for me. So I like that size. And also everything here will fit inside of this. I'll show you putting it all together. And so you can see how everything will fit inside of this it's in a nice little neat package. See, this is one of those instances where a lot of people will laugh at these little hot lips, but I just burned my lips because the thing with titanium is it doesn't retain heat very well, but it transfers heat really fast. So as, even though the top is cool, as the hot coffee goes over it, it'll burn your lips. And it seems counterintuitive because you think that coffee would be too hot for your mouth. I can deal with the hot coffee in my mouth. It's just the lips are very sensitive. So I like those. It doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't take any space up. Yeah, so that's the basic overall package. It's really simple. Um, I pieced it all together. And the most important thing here, and I like to say this now when I'm gonna tell my opinion about something, but I paid for all this with my own money or I was gifted it as a present um, from like a relative. And I think that's important because um, I sought this stuff out. I've used a bunch of other stuff and I came to the conclusion that I wanted to buy this stuff um, because of something that I was lacking. So another stove didn't perform at elevation. Uh, another cup was too heavy. Um, I didn't have stability with just the canister. So there's utility in each one of these things that I found. And so if you can kind of see here, like I can't leave the sleeve on it as I cook, but I kind of have a jet boil style cook kit that will pack smaller. I, it's about, you know, three inches shorter. And I think, I don't remember exactly how much, but I remember it weighing like three ounces or so less. So there's just a lot more uh, versatility. And if you've watched any of my gear breakdowns, you know that I like modularity. That's kind of one of my biggest things. Now my opinions about everything, I honestly don't have anything bad to say about any of these pieces. I think probably the worst thing that I would have to say uh, about the stove, when it hasn't been used in a while, it takes a few times um, and I think it's just oxidation on on it. Once you use it, like probably one or two times, it fires up right away. So that's probably the only gripe I have. Um, it's performed extremely well at elevation. I've gone up to I think 8,000 feet with it, um, and it you know a couple of minutes. The stove that I took the previous year, it took probably about six, seven minutes just to boil water to make some coffee, and uh, I just felt like man, if I'm waiting that long, imagine the fuel I'm burning. With the old stove that I used to use, I one time depleted a, a small canister uh, on a three day trip. And every time I've come back with the Pocket Rocket Deluxe, I've had plenty to spare. I honestly don't really have any gripes about the Tokes. Not that I can think of. The handle size is good. The weight is phenomenal. I got lots of volume in here. I make my oatmeal. I make water for, like I said, meals and coffee and tea. Um, so I really don't have anything bad to say about that. Um, and I really like the lid. So it has a couple of things here. There's like a notch so you can stick the bale up and so it won't fall over. Um, so it's a lot easier to grab, which I forgot to do <laughs> this time anyway. And it's got some holes at vent that prevent it from like flying off. I mean, it wanted to come off pretty good there once it started rolling, but that really helps it, um, you know, ventilate. And then also you can see the steam coming out when it's ready, if you're paying attention. The wood knot gear, this thing's phenomenal. It's fairly cheap um, and it's just a neoprene koozie. It's really simple, but it's meant to go over a cup that has um, handles. And then it also has these little cutouts if you do have like a hot lip sink or if it has a spout 
like I said, with titanium, it transfers heat really fast. So convection of the air moving past this will cool your liquids down a lot faster. Um, so having that insulation, that's one of the main selling points of a jet boil. So that's kind of the quick synopsis of my, my cook kit. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'd like to try out a few more stoves just to have some, but I think I found the kit for me. Um, and it's, it's a performer, it's light, it's small, and it does the job. And I take it even when I just go hiking, um, just because I like to make coffee when I'm up on the mountain. So um, something that I'm really big on is using the equipment that I have. And in my adventure videos, which honestly, I put the most work into those and they are probably out of all my videos, the least popular. But uh, you can see me actually using this stuff a lot of times before I'll do a, a breakdown on it. And I think that's valuable to, not only to you, the watcher, but it's valuable just to the internet. To, it's a, a record of um, if somebody's going to look to buy something. I know when I was looking to buy stuff early on when I was uh, buying equipment, there wasn't quite as many resources available to see what people were actually using and what actual people thought about it. The YouTube backpacking community and the outdoors community has just exploded. There's just a wealth of knowledge and wealth of expertise of people actually saying their real thoughts about stuff that they actually use. Um, and I just wanted to contribute to that because I do have, like I've said in some other videos, I've got a lot of miles on a lot of this gear and I feel like there's somebody out there who could be helped out um, knowing you know, a little bit more about some of this stuff or seeing it in action. So. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and show you how it all nests together. So those fold in. You just uh, make sure that this is closed. I like to put the feet down uh, first, just cause it's a little less obtrusive. And then quickly, it's gonna leak some gas, unscrew it. And then this little valve kind of goes over the top of that. And then I go ahead and pull the legs from the canister. They just start kind of compression fit. And how this works, this is really cool. This is why I got the jet boil one, but these fold in. And then this was designed to guard the Lindel valve and you go ahead and drop the base down the bottom and that protects your cup and that protects the valve. And now that's nice in there. And then you've got this kind of um, concave area that if you had set it the other way, um, you just have wasted space in the bottom. But now that's a perfect spot for me to go ahead and drop my stove in, go ahead and drop the hot lips in. And then I can even go ahead and throw the, the koozie in there. But so all this will kind of nest together. And if I wanted to, I could just leave the cozy on the outside. Um, but uh, it slides in and out of my, my kit a little bit easier. So there it is, nice and small. And then that go, goes right inside my, my Expedition bottle folder brew kit and away we go so we're gonna wrap up here uh, if you have made it this far go ahead do me a favor leave a comment hit the like button if you haven't already subscribed all that stuff really helps me out and it gives me an idea of um, what you the viewer want to see um, and especially if you let me know I'm happy to do videos on on any of the stuff that I have Maybe if you're interested, go down in the comments and uh, tell me if you'd like to see kind of a face-off between a jet boil and this system that I put together. And uh, I'll see about doing a video for that. I'll give you one last cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.